This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 113, How to Guarantee Victory Against the Motivation Monster, part one, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Health Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in health, fitness, and nutrition five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dr. Neil Malik. Hey, it's a Wednesday edition of Optimal Health Daily. Welcome back. I'm your host and narrator, as always, Dr. Neil Malik, where I read to you from some popular health and fitness blogs to help you optimize your health. Usually I read a full post to you, but sometimes I break them up so that the episode isn't too long. Today happens to be one of those days. I'll read half of the post today and wrap up the rest tomorrow. So I have a confession for you all. We are four days away from the Christmas holiday, which my family and I do celebrate and I have yet to go shopping. I think this is becoming a bad habit. The last few years, I've waited to the last minute for some reason. In the past, I was so on top of things. I would be done, I wanna say the beginning of December. But these past few years, well, maybe the past five years, I cannot get my act together. I need to really focus on changing that habit. I'd say maybe that's my New Year's resolution, but it feels like the next time I'm gonna have to work on this won't be for another year. I'll figure it out. Anywho, if you want to join our mailing list at oldpodcast.com, you'll get a bunch of free stuff from us, spreadsheets, a video tutorial, one weekly update with life tips, and an inspiring quote. And you'll be entered into raffles to win books. How do you be a part of that? Well, for free, all you have to do is come by oldpodcast.com, enter your email address there, or text the word BATMAN to the number 44222 and a lot of this stuff will be available to you. All right, let's jump into the first part of today's post and start optimizing your life. How to Guarantee Victory Against the Motivation Monster, Part 1, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Today marks the shortest day of the year. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, you're currently dealing with minimal daylight, decreasing temperatures, crappy weather, and probably a strong desire to channel your inner brown bear and just hibernate until spring. Some of you might think this is due to stuff like, quote, seasonal depression, or, quote, the winter doldrums, or whatever. Nope, it's all the motivation monster's fault. What the hell is a motivation monster, you ask? It's this tiny little monster that lives inside of you, surviving only on your wasted motivation. He gets hungry early in the morning after long days of work, definitely on weekends, and especially during the winter months. Want to know the worst thing about him? Feeding him only makes him stronger and hungrier. Skip a workout here, take a few days off to stuff your face there, and suddenly that little monster is all grown up and hungry for more. Next thing you know, it's March. You're up 30 pounds and in even worse shape than when you started. Yep, he sucks. Luckily, I'm going to arm you today with so much freaking motivation and determination that you'll be able to kick the motivation monster square in the crotch and keep the, quote, level up my life, train a rolling. Here's exactly how you do it. Give yourself something to look forward to. Want to know the greatest anti-motivation monster movie ever? The Shawshank Redemption, hands down. If you've seen it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Andy Dufresne spent 20 years in jail before finally breaking free, moving to a beach in Mexico, fixing up an old boat, and filming Corona commercials, I imagine. I'll never forget what Red, played by Morgan Freeman, told Andy earlier in the movie. Let me tell you something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. That's my horrible uh, Morgan Freeman impression. Andy Dufresne. You see, at this point in the movie, Red's motivation monster had already gotten the best of him. Luckily, by the end of the movie, Red got his ass in gear, made it out of prison, and found this note from Andy before joining him down on the coast. Remember, Red, hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. I can't do a Tim Robbins impression. Motivation monsters hate hope. It's their kryptonite. Andy never lost hope. He had a distinct future in mind that he fully expected to live, and then spent every day working towards that future. It was his incredibly strong willpower that allowed him to survive all the bull and eventually get everything he ever wanted out of life. As Jimmy Valvano famously once said, don't give up, don't ever give up. What specifically do you have to look forward to? 
What do you hope will happen in your future? Do you have a vacation coming up in February? How about a 5, 10, or 20-year high school reunion to go back to, where you can show all of your classmates how much weight you've lost? Whatever it is, paint a picture of your future and be as specific as possible. David Turnbull wrote a great post on how to design your future and work towards it. You'll be surprised how effective this is at keeping your motivation monster at bay. Visualize this future and find a way to do one thing every day to get closer to it. Form new habits. Humans are creatures of habit. These habits can be positive or negative, pushing you closer to the life you want or holding you further back. It's your job to determine which of your current habits are beneficial and which ones are feeding the monster. Once you know which ones you need to change, it's your job to get started. Luckily, Leo over at Zen Habits wrote a great post on 29 ways to successfully ingrain a new habit. Here it is in a nutshell. 1. Write down your plan. 2. Identify your triggers and replacement habits. 3. Focus on doing the replacement habits every single time the triggers happen, for about 30 days. Although Leo's plan will work for any habit, and I encourage you to use it as a guide for whatever you need, I specifically want to discuss exercise in this post. I know for a fact that once exercise becomes a regular habit for you, the rest of your life will start to fall into place as well. You'll have more energy, you'll have a better outlook on life, and other habits will start to change more quickly. Keep your new habit rolling. Hear that on tomorrow's show. You just listened to part one of the post titled How to Guarantee Victory Against the Motivation Monster by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. I wanna mention a couple of fun things about this post. Steve mentioned that today is the shortest day of the year. And if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, he's absolutely right. It actually is today. He also mentioned Leo Babauta, who is a regular author that I read right here on this podcast. So that's always funny when that happens. And I like what Steve was mentioning about visualizing the future. And I also like that he quoted Leo by saying, write it down. By writing down your goals, it makes them really concrete and it somehow changes our brain. We found from many, many studies that when you write down your goals, when you draw your future, it makes a huge difference. Those who do that are far more likely to actually achieve their goals. It's pretty amazing. Now, like I mentioned at the top of the show, if you wanna be in drawings to win free books, but also get some spreadsheet tools from us and a lot, lot more, come by oldpodcast.com and enter in your email address. That'll add you automatically to our weekly newsletter and all of our drawings. You can also join really quickly by texting the word BATMAN to the number 44222. If you can believe it, that's 113 episodes in the books. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for sharing this with someone. I'll see you in about 24 hours where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.